What's going on today, people? This is your boy, Tunchi. This is YBE TV. Today, I want to talk about something that makes me really, really angry. And it is the responsibility of the truck stop and this new law that I'm hearing about. It's a new law, and it made me really, really mad. I'm going to try not to curse. Before we get into that, I'm going to run through this because I'm ready to go off. Go to www.ybetv.org slash shop. Pick up the business marketing course, the business credit course, the business, I mean, the personal credit course. All three courses are made. The business course is going to show you how to set up the business and get business credit. It's going to show you. I'm talking about everything. You're going to have an 800 number, a new corporate address, new corporate email. You're going to be suited and booted. Then you're going to be able to get $40,000, $50,000 worth of business credit and get yourself going. The marketing thing going to get you going. I'm talking about like. You're going to learn how to get your brand out there, brand yourself, get employees in, draw some applications. You're going to be dope. You're going to be ready to run your business. It's going to look and feel great. The personal credit course is going to be for you to fix your credit. Or if you ain't got time to teach your kids about credit, only thing you got to do is hey, go in there and press play. That's all you got to do. And it's cheap. If you buy them all together, it is a will and a deal and a steal. Uh, put it in the bra. Shake it. In the bra. Shake it. You already know. We got mentorship. Well, we will teach you and give you a custom-made game plan on how to get to wherever you're trying to go in the industry. We got shirts. We'll make your logo for you. Put it on a bunch of shirts, hoodies, uh, work shirt, all types of stuff. We will get you together going like, like, like you need to be going. All right. Now, moving on. It's a new law where... My understanding is they're going to be more strenuous on the big guys in the trucking industry. Now, the part that makes me upset is this. When you're thinking about the bigger guys in the trucking industry, you say, okay, you know what? We got to fault the bigger guys in the trucking industry for being bigger guys. Maybe you're not taking care of yourself. But they going on the road. And we got to respect the fact that truckers are not celebrated like people that was in the Army is celebrated. And I think they're just as important. Everything that you can look around right now and see has been on a truck. From this camera that I'm taping on, to this table, to the printer, the mic, the phones. Everything that I've looked on has been on a truck. I've been on a truck. Everything that I look around my house and see has been on the truck. So with that being said, we are underappreciated. But the thing that's amazing is the scrutiny continues to go onto the driver. Which is very upsetting. You know why it's upsetting. Because you take Raymond, which has dedicated his life to trucking. Which helps a lot of people to get the things that they need in their house. Little Richard's insulin is on the load. And he runs medical load sometimes. That perfume that Sheila just got for her birthday was on the load he ran. Now all of those things, but you know what the law say, hey, Richard, you too big to be driving, but you going to the truck stop, it is absolutely nothing in there that's healthy. The napkins and the urinal. When you use the bathroom and you wipe your face and your hands, that you just gained 175 calories almost. That was a joke. Those are the most, the healthiest thing in the truck stop is the napkins. All jokes aside. Think about it. Everything is full of sodium from the dry aisle, from the chips, the sunflower seeds, all that full of salt. You go over here to the fruit, it's not fresh, it's been sitting out, it's garbage. The other fruit, it's not even real watermelon, it's, it's, the, uh, it, it's, it's the cloned kind. What, what, what restaurants, the Loves has Chester's, full of grease, everything has grease in it, even the napkins, terrible. Subway, terrible, full of bread, bread breaks down in the sugar, which is horrible. Everything else in there is full of meat. Even if you did the veggie sub, which you're going to put on the mayo and everything else, it's horrible. And then the sub, all the bread breaks down in the sugar. 
Then you got, okay, you got Chester's, you got Hardy's, nothing but meat. Even the Beyond Meat is horrible. They salads ain't made with nothing but um, uh, 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 um, iceberg lettuce, which has absolutely no nutritional value. So you're telling me that as a truck driver, as a company driver, the company does not have to have a refrigerator or microwave where I can go and get something that can be a little bit more healthy. At least a refrigerator where I could get me some green vegetables and things of that nature and keep myself going. No, no responsibility for the trucking company. The truck stop has absolutely like no healthy food whatsoever. Everything is processed. Everything is terrible. It's nothing fresh in there. Like, they, you telling me that the truck stop, they can't, like, instead of a Cinnabon, why can't they have a smoothie bar where they could do the smoothies and the juices and the fresh juices? Some for high blood pressure and things of that nature. Nothing. They put it all on us. And nowhere to exercise. It's freezing outside. You give us showers. Can we get a small workout room? Get rid of one shower, maybe two showers, or the lobby, the sitting lobby. Don't make it as big. Can we get a workout room with about five or six treadmills? Can we get that? Can we get some treadmills? Can we get some healthy food? And can we get that mandated by the law? But you're going to bring Richard, who's away from his family, for months at a time. Helping us out to get everything that I got on was on the truck. Everything that you see has been on the truck. We not celebrated at all. But we're scrutinized. And we put in positions where we sitting down for 10, 11 hours a day. With a 30 minute break, which is horrible. They shouldn't have did that. And then when we do get the downtime. And we sat in a truck stop in the middle of Nebraska with nowhere to go. It's nowhere to work out, especially if it's cold outside. I didn't try to run a truck stop and I almost got hit by trucks. And I didn't try to eat healthy from the TA, from the, uh, 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 what you call that, the, the, the little restaurant that's adapted with the TA or the Petro. And it's horrible. It is horrible. Only thing in there halfway decent is the salad. And you got to just eat spinach. All I'm saying is this. Why is all the scrutiny on the driver? And I think that's totally unfair. And I think that it's time for us to make a stand and say, hey, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot fill our house full of water and then punish us if we drown. That is nowhere near fair. And we should not be the only person that's responsible for our health because they shouldn't be selling ho-hos, donuts, pizza, chicken, fried chicken, fries, fries, egg rolls, saltine crackers, salt all in the sunflower seeds, bags of chips, Pepsi's pops, all of this thing, all this garbage, and then when you get overweight, they blame you. No responsibility whatsoever. Hey, tell you like this, people. It's about that time for us to take a stand. I hate it. And the rules are coming and it's being more scrutiny on us and I don't like it. I might be a slender guy, but I got to stand up for everybody. So at the end of the day, this show boy, Tunchi, you don't want to end up in a box. Think outside of it. Why be?